What's up, dudes? It's Molly. I am outside on my deck. Um, I have the big, giant pile of signs. Let's see who comes out. Let's just see what messages are coming out. Oh, okay. We've got Leo. This is for sure for Leo. Leo. I just looked over at the Scorpio Sea Tarot. All right. Somebody's been watching forever. The number 22 might mean something. All right. Somebody's been thinking about this brand new thing they want to do. All right. Let's hear more. Message for Leo. Okay. Somebody's looking back at their past. All right. Somebody chose a karmic person rather than their divine counterpart. All right. This person may have been too shy. They might have been, uh, uh, might have been, there was something that they could have done with their divine counterpart that they are smitten about, but they didn't do it with that person. They might have done it with a lower vibrational person. All right. This person is, has been thinking for a long time there's some sort of big thing that they need to do uh, and they've been thinking about who they want to do it they really want to ask the person they they're the person that's caught their heart they might have like gone out with somebody just to try something and that person totally all they could think about was the person they like yeah this person is very busy they have a lot of options lots of things that make them distracted all right, but now spirit has shown them who their actual counterpart is. Yeah, that's not your twin flame, that's a bitch. Okay, they've already passed that, that realization. Okay. Tell us about that, what's, what's the advice for that? Somebody may move, they may travel away from the person that's their karmic and go toward their actual person. Somebody might be a single mom I trust my inner wisdom. I am going in the right direction. All right. This masculine has been doing a lot of self work. They might be on a spiritual awakening. There's this event, this thing that they have to go to. There might be a lot of small talk, a lot of chit chat, a lot of things. This person might be called away for a little bit or something and they need somebody who can handle themselves. Okay. I am a unique and worthy person. All right. I'm just looking at this apple right here. A caramel apple might mean something. Or caramel. Okay. Tell us more. Whoa. Mastery. All right. Spirits come in and showed this masculine uh, the perfect thing. All right. Cancerian energy here, Piscean energy here. Okay. There's a whole story. King of Swords. Okay. Something legal might be going down. Spirit showing somebody who stole the rightful blessings from somebody else. All right. Um, so this, somebody, somebody took a uh, opportunity away from somebody else and now they're getting their horrible karma. It's through work. It's through a work thing. Okay. Oh, look at the sun. This masculine has been shown what's happened. This, this really feels like that, uh, the, um, yeah, ten of swords. Somebody was sleeping on the job, I just heard. Okay. The masculine has been shown. Something nefarious happened at work. And they've been shown. Everything is going to end now. They've been shown. They got their aha moment, Leo energy. And this masculine is dealing with a pain in the ass something. And it's all going to change. Okay. Let's hear more. Message for Leo. 
Message for Leo. Okay, somebody has imposter syndrome. This masculine may have thought this feminine was out of their league or the other way around, and then it all flipped, and now they see. All right. Whoever this person, whoever the karmic was, um, those, uh, this masculine may have had, like, I'll, I'll go out with you. Yeah, this might be as good as it gets. There's not a lot of fish in the pond. Then they saw their actual person they want. From, they went from a page to a queen. So they had to ascend in imposter syndrome. Uh, somebody may have body dysmorphia. Now they're obsessively thinking. Okay. There's lots of money to be made. Okay. Let's hear some more. Tell us about this over here with the tower. The person at work with the tower. Knock on the door. Somebody blocked the opportunity. This is the doorman that blocked the opportunity. Somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. It might be like an intern or somebody. Like fucked a whole bunch of shit up. Okay. I hear we have the... Yeah, it's like sun, sun, Leo, sun. Spirit is sending in... It's like from the worst employee to the best employee. Oh, look at it. It's Gary. Gary's been watching this. This is a really shy person. This is a super shy person. They had to work on their self-esteem. They had to realize that they're a sexy motherfucker. This is an old-fashioned modern person. Okay. And what does the oracle say? What does the oracle say? This masculine has ascended up. Everything is going to change now. This tower had to happen with this person from work. All right. We have honeybee and belladonna. All right, tell us more. Tell us about the honeybee. Tell us about honeybee. I am too big of a gift to this world to feel self-pity. That's masculine. Yeah, he found somebody that excites his intelligence. All right. Might have found a queen bee. Which got this masculine to ascend up into, into emperor status, I hear. All right, tell us about Belladonna. Fleetwood Magma means something? Okay, right when I said that, this came out. I eat well, exercise regularly, and get plenty of rest to enjoy good health. All right. This masculine may have seen a low vibrational uh, narcissist type person who liked to party, waste time, show up to work, shit face, drunk, hungover, something along that line. Yeah, and he's realized enough of this. All right, because he saw like the perfect person for it. Okay. And final message from Waves of Life. Final message from Waves of Life. I am the seahorse. I am responsible for myself, and I allow others to be responsible for themselves. All right, so, yeah. If this, if this person is dating their past person, may have been pushy, may have been controlling, may have been whatever. They found a, a, a confident person who uh, understands whatever this masculine does for their thing. So, for example... Uh, a lower vibrational page person would say, say it's a skateboarder, would say, I'm jealous of your skateboard. You spend way too much time on your bike, on your surfboard. Say it's one of these kinds of people who do a lone thing. You spend way too much time running. You spend way too much time on your martial arts. You spend way too much, and they become jealous of the thing that keeps this person centered. Way too much time on your guitar. Whatever it is. And it was a big uh, contention. This person started flexing on whatever this masculine's thing was. And so, what this person hasn't realized yet is that that thing is what keeps the masculine sane. 
they need that. That thing, whatever that thing is, is that person's friend and is their partner's friend because it keeps this person sane. So it's not your enemy, it's actually your friend. So I think somebody's going from a very immature person to, um, to an older, wiser person who may possibly be a parent, something like that, and understands, yeah, this person doesn't, it, like this person uh, is not a Klingon to this, to this masculine, and that's exactly who this masculine needs. So there might be a work event or something where um, the masculine may have to go do something and, and the, the date or whatever will be by themselves for a, a little bit. This person, this Queen of Cups, is the person that is right for it and they've realized it. They may have brought somebody to something and that person may have just walked away and left, spent a bunch of money, something. And he's like, no fucking way, that's not who I want. And then they were regretting and jealous the whole time of the person that they haven't had the, uh, the courage to come and talk to. But it looks like they are, they have ascended up and they realize now that there's this great big thing that they can do with this person. They just had to get rid of the wrong person first. All right, there's your message, Leo.